Bill Rancic is best known as a reality TV star, motivational speaker, and entrepreneur. But did you know he's also a romance novelist? Here's how Rancic's life has changed over the years. Bill Rancic was born in 1971 in Orland Park, a suburb of Chicago. He showed an aptitude for business at a very young age. In an interview with the New York Post, Rancic recalled learning how to make pancakes from his grandma. Afterward, I invited all the old ladies from the neighborhood over to her house, and I cooked them pancakes. When they left, they all put $5 bills underneath their plates. Since I was, you know, 5, 10 years old, I was always coming up with some kind of a business idea. And Soon, he was running his pancake scheme every weekend, and that entrepreneurial spirit continued through college. After graduating, he took a gig as a commodity metal salesman. In his memoir, You're Hired, he joked, I knew as much about commodity metals as I knew about fertilizer or waste management or industrial bathroom supplies. That is, I knew crap. Still, he put his head down and got to work, and he soon realized that if he was able to sell himself well, he would make more in commissions than a salaried position would have paid. I learned by watching, by listening to the sales pitches that worked and the ones that didn't. It's a lot easier to sell when you can stand behind your product or service and know you've got the goods. In 2004, Bill Rancic rose to fame when he competed on the first season of The Apprentice. He later told E! News that a friend's mother was the one who signed him up for the show, which he hadn't even heard about at the time. He was flown out to Los Angeles for the casting process. At the end of the week, I was the last one chosen. It was actually worse than that. I was the alternate. Rancic went on to win, and he revealed in a press conference that he viewed his story arc as proof that success is possible. The American dream is still alive out there, and hard work will get you there. You don't necessarily need to have an Ivy League education, or to have millions of dollars of startup money. As his prize, Rancic chose to manage a Trump building project in Chicago, netting himself a plum salary of $250,000 a year. In his book, You're Hired, Rancic wrote about the fact that he was surprised to be a public figure after winning The Apprentice. I wasn't conditioned to think about things like celebrity and publicity and people asking for an autograph while you're hurrying to catch a plane. I don't know that I'll ever get used to all that noise. Not many couples can say that the first time they flirted with one another was captured on camera, but that's the case for Bill Rancic. He first met Juliana DePandy at a party in 2004, but not much happened. When she interviewed him for E! News in 2005, however, it was clear from that very first on-camera interaction that they were made for one another. They both blushed throughout the interview, and things even escalated to a mock proposal. Do you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys what think? What do you guys think? Do we make a good couple? It seems that Rancic certainly thought they'd be a good couple. They got dinner together after the interview and soon found themselves planning their life together. He told ABC News, We knew instantly. We were having dinner in Malibu, and we were making plans for three, four months out. That was on our first date. At the end of 2006, after a bit more than a year of dating, Bill Rancic proposed to Juliana DePandy. He told ABC News that he orchestrated a big, grand gesture with the help of his three sisters. I had a helicopter waiting and told her we were going to go look at the Christmas lights, which Chicago is known for. We got up there and were drinking champagne and had Michael Buble playing in the background. Then we flew over Michigan Avenue. That's when I got down on one knee. They married in 2007 on the island of Capri, but one famous face associated with the couple was nowhere to be seen. Donald Trump, it seems, couldn't make it to see his protege get married. Rancic explained simply, his schedule didn't allow it. By the end of the decade, Bill and Juliana Rancic's profiles had both grown. They were famous as individuals, but they were even more famous as a couple. Accordingly, they did what a lot of people did in the 2000s. They launched a reality show. Juliana and Bill premiered in 2009 on Style, a sister network to Juliana's home at E! Juliana told Good Morning America that the added public pressure from the reality show didn't affect their marriage the way it seemed to affect other couples who had shows. I think the difference between us and a lot of these other couples is, from the beginning, our foundation was very strong. Juliana and Bill inadvertently wound up chronicling Juliana's experience with breast cancer, which she was open about with her fans. Bill told Good Morning America, "...we can't make it through an airport without someone coming up and saying, thank you, my wife finally got a mammogram. I mean, not a day goes by where that doesn't happen." In 2012, the happy couple opened their own eatery, launching RPM Italian, a restaurant in Chicago that served Juliana's Italian-style cooking. Bill told City Lifestyle, "...everyone knows it's the worst investment you can make, from a business perspective." Still, Juliana was adamant about wanting to try it out, so Bill got to work and found business partners. That said, Bill emphasized that they weren't just lending their names to the project. "...we're very hands-on. We go to all the tastings, we work on the marketing side and the style side. As for the fact that the restaurant is located in Chicago, 
Bill told Chicago Tribune that it just felt right to launch their new venture in his hometown. This is our home. It's where our support group is. It's where we will raise our kids and where we will retire. The RPM Italian venture was successful enough that the couple have since launched a chain, including a location in Las Vegas that opened in 2022. We know that we have to have the finest restaurant, especially for Italian food. Right? Bill and Juliana Rancic were able to become parents in 2012 thanks to a surrogate, a decision they made after a difficult fertility treatment journey. Bill told People, Our journey has a happy ending. We didn't give up. We didn't quit. And we're going to have a good ending to this. The happy couple told Redbook that their son, Edward, was named after both of their fathers. Bill's dad was Edward, while Juliana's was named Eduardo. Bill said, If he can grow up to be as good as my father and Juliana's father, then we'll be pretty happy. Bill also opened up about what their IVF journey had done for them. When I look at that little guy, he saved her life. If it wasn't for the struggles we had with IVF, we would have never found the breast cancer. So this kid is pretty darn special. Becoming parents had another effect on their lives, too. Because of privacy concerns, their reality show Juliana and Bill wound down in 2014. Juliana told HuffPost, Bill and I are very open. We share a lot, but it's our son. And so, until he has a say, we want to just protect him. No matter how busy we get and crazy our schedules get, we always make time for family. Bill Rancic became an author early in his career when he wrote You're Hired, a self-help memoir about his time on The Apprentice and his advice for entrepreneurs who wanted to follow in his footsteps. A marriage advice book called I Do, Now What followed in 2010, co-written with his wife Juliana. But in 2016, Rancic's writing career entered a new phase when he moved into the fiction space. That year, Rancic published First Light, a romantic survival novel about a couple who are stranded after a plane crash. He told Yahoo that he felt pressure to make sure the book was good because he knew people would be suspicious of a self-help author turning to fiction. This book has to be better than your traditional romance novel because people are going to question it a bit more. Promoting First Light on Rachel Ray's cooking show Rachel, Rancic curiously claimed that the book was based on his life with Juliana. While they may be in love, they don't seem to have survived a plane crash, as far as fans know. He also promised that his audiences would enjoy spending time with the novel, joking, it comes with a warning. If you like romance novels, once you start this, you're not going to be able to put it down. In late 2016, the world tried to wrap their minds around the fact that Donald Trump, the former host of The Apprentice, had been elected president of the United States. Understandably, Bill Rancic was asked about his former boss's successful campaign, and Rancic had nothing but positive things to say about the man who didn't tell him, you're fired. At a leadership event in Malaysia, Rancic spoke with CNBC about how he felt Trump's supposed business acumen would translate to running the country. He lifted me up. He gave me an opportunity that was absolutely spectacular, and I think he's going to do the same for all of America. Those comments were made before Trump's presidency began, and it's unclear how Rancic feels about his former boss today. But it should be noted Rancic was the only Apprentice alum to stump for Trump. Rancic's former co-star, Omarosa Manigault Newman, took a job at the Donald Trump White House, though she later turned on her former boss, writing a tell-all and filing multiple lawsuits. In 2018, Bill and Juliana Rancic teamed up on a brand new business venture, an app called Pear. The couple rounded up a team of experts to advise them on the app, including a nutritionist, a child psychologist, and a fertility doctor. Bill and Juliana also did a lot of press around the new app, which promised to be a judgment-free tool for parents looking for advice and community around the best way to raise kids. In an interview with Good Morning America, Bill explained, There wasn't a place where we get vetted information, we could navigate easily, and where there was a forum for parents to communicate with each other like this. Pear launched in May 2018, with Bill hyping it up on his Instagram page, but the app does not seem to have been particularly successful, to put it mildly. The link is no longer live on the App Store, and the app's Instagram account hasn't been updated since November 2018, barely six months after the app went up. We're not saying Bill spread himself too thin, but advice he offered to the Chicago Tribune in 2015 might be relevant here. He said, So many of us try and do everything. We're know-it-alls. When the conductor tries to play every instrument, it sounds pretty bad. It's the same with the small business owner. We let our egos get in the way. Thanks to his decades of experience in business, entrepreneurship, and reality television, Bill Rancic now spends a lot of his time as an in-demand public speaker. His website includes his public speaking client list, revealing that he's given talks to companies as varied as Capital One, Coca-Cola, and the Maple Flooring Manufacturers Association. He claims to have given more than 500 such talks on topics such as faith and future, technology, and work-life balance. He even apparently gave a lecture on dental matters. His site also includes testimonials from people who have booked his speaking talent. 
clients, including John Harris, chief communications officer at ConAgra. Harris wrote, No matter the size of the group, Bill Rancic is the secret weapon. His poise and class is something that cannot be taught. On the Beyond Speaking podcast, put on by the Premier Speakers Bureau, Rancic offered up a plethora of advice to listeners about how to run successful businesses. You have to be willing to do what other people are not willing to do. That means getting up earlier, staying later, putting the time in, and making the sacrifices. 